I mean, it starts with the script, obviously, but then you get these guys coming in and they just put a whole new spin on it. And they kind of create, certainly in the case of Corell, but everybody, they create the way the character speaks and that becomes the voice. And then when the writers go back, they've got that in their head as well. So when, that, when as we're doing script revisions, that voice starts to inform the written page too, so. Yeah, that's what's great actually, because they're not only voices, they're actually souls behind characters. And that really, uh, that, that, that's what we hook on when, when we start animating objects, because that, that's what they are ult uh, ultimately when, when you look at them. Like CG stuff is just, you could take a ball and then put Steve Carell's voice in there and it would be awesome. Like, oh God, that ball's got character. And uh, so that, it's just giving a soul to, 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 to written words that, that, you know, that, that not necessarily have any personality or anything. The minions are basically the guys that Gru, unfortunately, has to rely on to get the job done. And they're, uh, they're sort of these subterranean, genetically engineered sure. creatures. But then again, uh, he knows everyone by name. Yes, exactly. So but but they're, they're good friends, yeah. So, um, you know, uh, they're just the guys that he has to rely on. But of course, they're also a bit like children in their own right, in that they uh, very often sort of get knocked off course, they sort of lose focus, or they get into fights with each other. They're a bit irresponsible, so that's a quality that's emerged that we've played up uh, through the movie.